Hello everyone, this is Blue Funner Fan Racing, and this is the INORL UPS Truck Series. This is the only road course race of the season here at Portland. However, this is the penultimate round of Season 1 of the UPS Truck Series. However, we may, however, prematurely, we, we could prematurely decide our champion today as Mason Wood, your points leader, has a full race lead over his, over second place Taylor Mitchell. If he can ma maintain a full race lead after this race, Mason Wood will lock up the championship before we even head into the North Carolina Super Speedway. So, so, champion, so the champion could be decided here at Portland. Starting on pole is Wilmer Jones in the number 17. Next to him is Skyla Johnson, who's finished second twice looking for a win. Row number two, Rob Thomas and Taylor Mitchell, who's trying to finish ahead of Mason Wood by enough positions to possibly take to possibly keep keep herself in tile contention and not let Whoop Mason Wood run away of this. Row number three has Pichu London and Seth Cole. Row number four has Mason Wood, the points leader. If he finishes well enough today, he he will he could walk away with the t title here in this in this race. Next to him is Aaron Williams, and around at the top ten is Zachary Robinson and Brandon Bain. If anyone can take away the title for Mason Wood, it's going to be Taylor Mitchell in that 31. So it's come down to those two drivers. Taylor Mitchell is a little over 170 points off the lead, so she's got a lot of ground to make up. Something's going to have to happen to Mason Wood. Perhaps a bad pit stop or something. Going to have to see what is going to happen. And the engines have fired the trucks here at Portland. The penultimate round of the season, the only road course race of the season. There, at the moment, there's not going to be any road courses in season two. The pace trucks are die for pit road, and we're going to get going here. And the penultimate round of the UPS Truck Series is green. We are go we are green at Portland. Rob Thomas is going to be going for second here on the start. This could be a crazy start. And Mason Woods already ch challenging Taylor Mitchell. Mason Woods going to make sure that he locks up the championship today. He's going by Mitchell. And Mason Wood will clear Taylor Mitchell. And that... And that so Mason Wood may just won the championship on lap one. As Mitchell is now dropping like a rock. She's now under fire from Brandon Bain. Can she hold him off? I don't know. Still there. Kyle Sosnowski runs wide. No, she's not. So how many positions did she lose in the first lap here? She's down to seventh. So she's gonna be down to she's down to seventh now. Mason Wood is in fourth. That's where Mitchell started. At the moment, Mason Wood will have locked up the championship. So Mitchell's going to have to do something fast here. This is not Taylor Mitch. Championship wise, Taylor Mitchell just had the worst start she could have possibly had. Oh, Reese Valkins got damage in the 05. He must have ran into somebody. Looks like looks like he probably ran into Merrick Minkacuck. There's damage on the back end of the 5. That 5 team will not be back next season. Instead, Bill Davis Racing, the owner of the 05 machine of Reese Valkin, they'll take o they'll take over the right their right take rightful ownership of the o of the 5 number. As Curtis Rundas runs off the road, the Kentucky winner is way off course. 
he's had a pretty bad start to this race. Daniel Hummel's off course. Like, Daniel Hummel is in the pit lane. Don't know what happened to him. He must have came down pit road for, or something. Perhaps he short pitted. And Mason Wood looks a lot faster than Taylor Mitchell right now. However, Mitchell dive bomb that corner a little bit. She late braked, and Garrett Norton's trying a late breaking maneuver on Zachary Robinson. And it looks like Norton's going to make that move work. Norton won Martinsville. And Finn Guy breaks late. A nice move by Jeffrey Finn Guy over there as we're getting some contact. There's Hummel. He came down pit road. Eric. Taylor Mitchell's teammate Aaron Williams is right behind her in the 8th position. And Robinson now being challenged by Milan Lavar, but I think he'll be able to hold him off. Still side, the 09 is still side by side at the 33. This is the only series that Robinson has not done that well in. Robinson's kind of struggled in the trucks, but in the other series, he's done a pretty, pretty, a pretty hatchet job. He's done very, very well. Still, still kind of struggling to hold off Navarre here. And Mitchell late breaks again. She's trying to get past Brandon Bain. Skyla Johnson try to get past the try to make a move on Mason Wood, but didn't work. Reese Falcon has dropped out of the race. That damage appears to have been terminal on that truck. Wilmer Jones has pulled out to a big lead. He is a lot faster than the rest of the field. Wilmer Jones has that set up down right here here at Portland. Rob Thomas is having a great day. Skyla Johnson holding off Brandon Bain. Taylor Mitchell's got to look out for her teammate and good friend Aaron Williams who's coming up behind her as Zach Campbell runs off the road. The lowest ranked of the Turner trucks here is uh, Savannah Turner. She's running midfield. She's kind of, she's kind of been a midfielder all season. She's kind of... She, Savannah Turner's been uh, kind of anonymous this season. Real, very, very quiet. She's been very quiet all season. Also, Kevin Ork appears to have run into trouble. He come, he's come in the pit, come down pit road. And Mitchell late breaks again. Almost gets into Brandon Bain. Tries to make a move down low. Not gonna work. Perhaps she could get something going next time, though. She's probably waiting for Brandon Bain to make a mistake. Or perhaps something that happened to Mason Wood. Oh, uh, Mitchell. Mitchell needs needs the look look behind her. Aaron Williams appears to be looking. Again, the champ. This is a very important race. The championship could be decided in this in this race. And and at the and actually and of course at uh, at the pace we're going right now. If the drivers, if the championship contenders finish in their current positions, actually the championship will be decided today because at the moment Mason Wood has locked up the championship. The only way for Taylor Mitchell to to stay it with him in the championship is if she finishes enough positions ahead of Wood, and Mason Wood is actually ahead of Taylor, and well, she's behind Mason Wood right now, which is exactly what she shouldn't have been doing. Well, we're now going to be a quarter through the race. Pichu London is looking to try and get past Rob Thomas for second. Pichu London is a rookie. High, he's the highest ranked rookie. There are two There are two rookies in the top ten. All those, all those, those two rookies are actually in the top five. The other rookie is Skyla Johnson in the 42. Apparently, she's going to be... as If Dodge Mopar Incorporated returns for next season, Skyla Johnson will be back. 
However, this 42 truck is gonna be is gonna is not going to be sponsored by Mopar next season. The 42 truck is gonna have uh, sponsorship from Mellow Yellow next season. And M Mitchell late breaks again. And oh, she almost gets into Brandon Bain. Tries to make a move once again, but not going to work. She needs to try uh, try a different strategy. The second fastest lap goes to Emilio Navarrete. Navarrete, however, is running in 13th, running a little ways back in 13th. Wilmore Jones has pulled out to a five and a half second lead. He's only a full second faster than the field. Jones is, is just seem, it just appears to be dominant here at Portland. He's gotten that setup down perfectly. The last thing he could use, the last thing he could, he, he would, he could need, he would need right now is a caution, because he's got the truck that could, that. Because he's got a winning truck here today. Pichu London late breaks. Mason Wood. He, man, he, he got real deep in that corner. Oh, Mitchell got into Brandon Bain. She's, get, she's getting a little impatient. Looks like she's starting to get a little impatient. But that was not a good move on her part. Is there damage? Yes, there's some damage on the 31 now. That impatient move may have just cost her dearly. And Mason Wood, yeah, Mason Wood's looking to make sure he locks up the championship. He's trying to get past Pichu London for third. Obviously, he does not want to win the championship quietly. He wants to get a, he wants to be able to finish with a big run, with at least a big run and a world, maybe a win. Battle for 17th. Aaron Mason, two rookies, Aaron Mason versus Zach Campbell. And it looks like Aaron Mason's going to get the spot. I believe Aaron Mason is Canadian. Not sure on that. Mason gets the spot. Where's your rookie of the year leader? I believe the... Like, your rookie... Of the, here's your rookie of the year leader, Kyle Sosnowski. He's running behind. He is, excuse me. He's running two spots ahead of his rival for Rookie of the Year, Aaron Mason. Mason's running in 17th. Fall Sosnowski is running in 15th. So, solid run for Kyle Sosnowski, looking to get Rookie of the Year. We should be seeing it. We should be seeing him. We should be seeing him back next season. Kyle Sosnowski actually just says, says personal best, which is fast, which is also faster than Aaron Mason's fastest lap. But here you can see it, Wilmer Jones' fastest lap really just stands out over the others. Now, Mitch, Taylor Mitchell's quick lap is actually faster than Mason Woods, but Mitchell has really done, has, re, has really hurt herself with, with that dive bomb that ended and her running into the 29. As you can see, that has hurt her truck. And she's late breaking. Late breaking. Taylor Mitchell obviously knows that corner very well. As we are now at the halfway point. We're potentially 10 laps away. For Next time by, we could potentially be 10 laps away from deciding a champion. And here goes Mason Wood on Rob Thomas. Pichu London's taken over to second position. I forgot... Forgot to mention that. Rob Thomas is now trying to hold off Mason Wood for third, and he will do so. Daniel Culp's having a solid run in 10th. After, after a few weeks of struggling, Seth Cole is finally having another good run. Seth Cole running in the uh, ninth position.
When will green flag pit stops? When will we have? When are we going to have green flag pit stops? There should be. We, we should be having green flag pit stops. So the question is, when will they happen? Ten laps to go. Could we could possibly be, possibly be deciding a champion in ten laps? And I think Mitchell may have just ran the Brandon Bain again. She is getting him very impatient. She's but she got beside Brandon Bain again, but still nothing doing for Taylor Mitchell. She's been trying everything to get around this 29, but nothing's worked. I feel bad for Taylor Mitchell. I know she's won this championship very badly, but it doesn't look like she can do anything to take to take it away from Mason Wood at this point. The only thing I could possibly take away the championship from Mason Wood at this point appears to be if he gets a bad pit stop. And I don't really know about that. The six teams had some good pit stops all season. However, some of his pit strategies haven't worked out, but there's only gonna if there's I believe there's only gonna be one pit stop. Once everyone pits, they should be able to make it on fuel. Also, mate, also Wilmer Jones, check out his lead. Oh, uh, here go, drivers are coming down pit road. I see Seth Coles in. But where well, the lead is it's it's over eight and a half seconds. Very large lead. Wilmer Jones appears to just have this thing locked up. Who's in? The drivers that are in are Seth Cole, Zachary Robinson, Dylan Young, Connor Halligan, and Ryan Juke. Those drivers are, ha have come down pit road. Thomas McCook appears to have pitted earlier. But Wilmer Jones is approaching a having is could possibly potentially have a 10 second lead. We haven't been talking about him because. Because I've been, because he's he's pulled out such a, he, but he's pulled out to such a massive lead. We haven't been talking about him because we're focused on a championship situation, as the champion could be decided here today. However, might as well dwell on Wilmer Jones. Jones is having a awesome run. If he doesn't win this race, I'll, I'll honestly, if he doesn't win this race, I'll honestly be shocked. Because his truck has been so fast, he basically has this win all but locked up. The only thing I could take it away from him now is a bad pit stop. And I mean a really bad pit stop. It's going to take a very, very bad stop to knock him out of the lead. And the other drivers are in. Can Mason Wood, is, can Mason Wood get a good enough pit stop? And Wilmer Jones is off. I think he should be able to hold on to the lead. And, oh, Mitchell, Mitchell! That's exactly what I was thinking about. Mitchell has gotten out ahead of Mason Wood. Taylor Mitchell has beaten Mason Wood off a of pit road. The sixth team just blew the pit stop. Although this does not put, mean, this does not mean that it's going to cost him the championship. It does not mean that he won't lock it up. Mitchell still has has to finish a pretty decent number of positions ahead of Mason Wood in order to win the championship. Right. In, or, in, order, in order to bring the championship down to North Carolina, Taylor Mitchell has to finish a pretty hefty number of spots ahead of Mason Wood. And, well, we don't know how, many, how far she's ahead. And look at this. She's like... That damage is is hurting her as she ha is getting passed by Seth Cole and Thomas Mikacook. Oh man, she, wow, she looks very slow actually. Something doesn't seem right. Seth Cole and Thomas Mikacook are much faster. She may lose lose it on speed. Well, here's Wilmer Jones. He is back in the lead now. Pichu London, the rookie, isn't is having an awesome run in second. And Wilmer Jones did not have the greatest pit stop. His lead has dropped to eight and a half. But I think at this point he's got it all but locked up. Taylor, and yes, I, yes, at this point Mason Wood will still have the championship. Taylor Mitchell may be ahead of Mason Wood, although it's only by two spots, and that won't be enough. 
So at the moment, Mason Wood is still your champion. Looks like it's gonna take something. It's gonna take something very drastic to cost him the championship. Also, Seth Cole had a very good pit stop. Very nice pit stop. Moved him in the third. He's looking to have a great day. Thomas McCook pitted a little earlier than the others. That strategy appears to have worked. He's he's in fourth right now. Although I'll, 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 I'll have to question him if he's going to make it. Seeing that he pitted earlier than the others. Some drivers have damage. Savannah Turner, Taylor Mitchell, one of Taylor Mitchell's teammates. Uh, Connor Halligan has damage in the 21. The 5 of Merrick McCook is damage. Uh, Rhett Yates has been put a lap down. Taylor Mitchell... Taylor Mitchell's going to have to watch out. And Mason Wood still needs to look at... Is going to need to look at his rear view. Here's a look at Chris Rickenbaugh. He had a very strong day at... Tal he had a very... Well, he had a very... He had a very strong race at Talladega. Got the pole for that race and finished very well. And Rickenbaugh's having another solid run here today. He's running in the 18th position. And oh, he got tapped by Jack Nathan, however. Let's check in on last week's winners, Dylan Young. Dylan Young is running just ahead of uh, Chris Rickenbaugh. Only two spots. Dylan Young having a solid day in 16th. I think Dylan Young's been proving his worth in the INOR in the I in, in my in my series. He's been doing a he's been a, doing a very nice job in that night in that 19 truck. He's also done a solid job over in the Budweiser Retro Series. And Mason Wood is looking to pass Rob Thomas, and I, he's yeah he's looking he's looking he's trying to find a way around. Oh, he's got rear-ended by Brandon Bain. Brandon Bain just rear-ended him. And that's going to cause some big damage to Brandon Bain's truck. That drops him to the ninth position. That cost him a spot to Skyla Johnson, who is, by the way, having another awesome day. And, w hey, Mason Woods looking on Rob Thomas. But this is going to hurt Brandon Bain. I do not believe Brandon Bain will be back next season, so... This is pretty big. So this is pretty big. I know he wants to win a race, but it looks like at this point his last chance is going to be North Carolina. Also, uh, Connor Halgan picked up the, some damage. He got involved in some kind of incident. So that's that's a tough break for him. Jones is now trying to get past Tony Blazer. Four laps to go. Taking it very cool. Taking it very cool. Taking it cool. Not pushing it very hard. We could be deciding who our champion is in four laps. Could potentially be crowning a champion. Mitchell's falling is falling back. She needs to hold off Rob Thomas. That's something that she needs to do. She she like braked a little. And um and, Oh Rob Thomas might want to throw the block. Mace, Taylor Mitchell throws the block. It seems to be pretty hard to pass on this track. Pichu London has now moved into the second fastest lap as Daniel Culp appears to be trying to get past Aaron Williams for the 10th spot. He, he made a little challenge, but it didn't appear to do much. And now two rookies, two very strong rookies, Dylan Young, last week's winner at Talladega, and the rookie of the year, and, and the rookie points leader, and the leader of the rookie points, Kyle Sosnowski, Sosnowski passed Dylan Young for the 16th position. And here's Joseph Clark in 15th. Clark having a solid run. He struggled in this series. However, he could potentially win the championship in the IndyCar series. As Aaron Williams having problems, he broke down! Oh, no. This, that did not just happen. Aaron Williams has broken down again. And nothing seems to be getting better. And Rob Thomas has passed Taylor Mitchell. And Oates Johnson's around! Skyla Johnson is spinning, has spun around. 
that's gonna cost her big time. Now she lost two spots, so she's out of the so she lost two spots. She's down to tenth now. So now the Dodges seem to be having some issues with running into other running into other trucks. But what a heartbreak for Aaron Williams as the two points rivals are fighting for position. Mason Wood wants to make sure he finishes ahead of Taylor Mitchell so that he can have a very strong finish to the championship. He just wants to finish this as strongly as possible. As Wilmer, Wilmer Jones has pulled out to a 10 second lead, so there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to win this race, but what a heartbreak for Aaron Williams. He's been the bad luck driver of the season, and it appears nothing is going go Everything seems to go wrong for him, and it happened again. And what, here he comes, Mason Woods, getting around Taylor Mitchell. And his teammate, Taylor Mitchell, who's been contending for the championship, she's been having some bad luck with uh, keeping up as far with uh, keep it with champion with, with the championship and she just got hit by Brandon Bain Brandon Bain just ran into her and that's and there you go that's gonna solidify the pass for Mason Wood I think Wood is has has all but locked it up it is gonna drop Taylor Mitchell to eighth this is not what she was looking for this is not the day she was looking for Wilmore Jones actually has an 11 second lead Last time by, he was nearly a full second faster than second place Pichu London. Seriously, he's been very dominant. He's just been dominant here at Portland. And here he comes in the number 17 machine. Wilmer Jones will take the white flag at Portland. Wilmer Jones is home free as long as he just needs to have a very... He just has to have a clean lap. And if he has a clean lap, then he will be just fine. I'm going to check in with Taylor Mitchell and Mason Wood here one last time here. See how they go for this corner. Man, that man, they're getting real tight. Now back up to the front with Wilmer Jones. Here he, here he comes. On to the back stretch. Well, Wilmer Jones has had a very, has had a solid, has had a very good, he's had a very good season. He's picked up some wins, but, and, but boy, today he was just on fire as Wilmer Jones is going to take a dominating victory here at Portland. However, the, all eyes are on Mason Wood. Here he is in a six. If, is he going to make it? Yes, he will. On the final corner, he's going to lock it up before North the season finale. Mason Wood is your like. Whip. He's going to lock up the points before the final round. Be be so after only this after only this penultimate round of the season, Mason Wood has locked it up. Mason Wood is your season one INORL UPS Truck Series champion. Congratulations to him, the driver of the number six college complete Chevy. Hopefully he'll be back next season. There's been rumors that he's been le he's gonna be leaving YouTube, so I hope it doesn't happen because Mason Wood. I really want because because I want to be able to see him back next season to defend his championship that he has now officially won in that number six. Finishing second is Pichu London. Third is Seth Cole, who finished 20 seconds behind. Third was Thomas McCook. Fourth was was uh, Rob Thomas. Fifth is Mason Wood. Like, like fifth was Rob Thomas. Sixth is Mason Wood. He locks up the championship with that finish. Again, congratulations. Seventh is Brandon Bain. Eighth is Taylor Mitchell. Ninth is Daniel Culp, and tenth is Skyla Johnson. Well, well, the champion has the season's not over. The champion of the UPS Truck Series has been decided. It is Mason Wood in the number six college complete Chevrolet, the Chevy Silverado. However, this however the season is not over. 
we we there's still one race winner left to be this le there's still w one more race we're gonna be heading to the north carolina super speedway to end off the 2012 inorl ups truck series season however i <laughs> however again congratulations to mason wood he he had a he's been dominant all season dominant all season and this is going to lock up every this is going to lock everything up congratulations to Mason to, to Mason Wood so without further ado here comes the results and standings you've been watching a production of the INORL racing uncontained see you next time